estimated 12,000 people living with Parkinson's disease in Connecticut. It's a neurologic condition that can cause slowness of movement, walking difficulties, and tremors. Interestingly, though, a recent study shows that dancing is an optimal exercise for Parkinson's patients. So here to tell us more about it is Dr. Tony Merkaida, Medical Director of Hartford HealthCare's Chase Family Movement Disorders. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, this sounds like a fun anecdote. Absolutely. Thank you, Kara, for having us. And we're so excited to tell you more about it. Yeah, so we hear certainly about the exercise benefits for Parkinson's disease, for many illnesses, but why dancing in particular? If you imagine somebody with Parkinson's disease to have slowness of movement, the characteristic of it, a little bit of stooping of the posture, some balance problems, paucity of overall movement, smaller movements overall. And think about a dancer, Kara, particularly a ballroom dancer mm. who stands up straight, chin up, big movements, big steps. Balance has to be well controlled and these are the elements of dance that are essential to improve in people with Parkinson's. Furthermore, the social aspect of dance is just invaluable for our patients, as well as music. So music actually activates a part of the brain called the putamen, which then can overcompensate for the abnormal dopamine signals that are the deficiency in Parkinson's disease. Mm. So then they're able to move more fluidly. It's perfect, Kara, perfect for people for Parkinson's. I know some people, okay, I don't dance that well. My movement's not that good. I mean, so I, don't, I assume we don't have to worry about that. Have you seen patients improve when they choose dance as their preferred exercise? So at Hartford HealthCare's Chase Family Movement Disorder Center, Dance for Parkinson's was one of the exercise classes that we offered free of charge to our patients. And yes, absolutely, even if they have no dance experience, just the motion that they are taught to do in order to complete this program has improved their symptoms. But we have other things like Tai Chi, yoga, boxing. Yeah. It's really crucial that they exercise. Real quick, because I know we're short on time, but there's a Friday night fundraiser called Dancing for Parkinson's, Stars Dancing for Parkinson's. We are so excited, and I hope that people will think to donate so that our patients can continue their exercise classes free of charge. It's like dancing with the stars, but with local celebrities. And we have Anna Trevanskaya from the show as one of their judges, Scooby from ESPN. So it's a really fun event and they can donate at giving.hartfordhospital.org slash event slash stars dancing. Uh, sounds like a great time and, and some great information for everyone. Thank you so much, doctor, for sharing your time. And to learn more about the Stars Dancing for Parkinson's event, you can visit uh, the link there on your screen, giving.hartfordhospital.org slash event slash stars dancing.